speaking to? John Howe, H-O-W-E. Gotcha. And uh, why are you here today? We're backing up all of the firefighters that are coming from two states and a good many counties to fight a fire that's in some very rough mountains, and they're always harder that way. And um, as we were talking uh, before uh, Mr. Rolian had to take off for a sec, um, you were talking about an incident that happened quite a long time ago here that has something to do with this building being built. And uh, could you elaborate about that? Almost 35 years ago, a wildfire came from the west near 395, the, the U.S. highway that goes into California, came over the mountains that were behind us, came down into our neighborhood, and burned through the Silver Knolls neighborhood. No houses were lost, only a couple of fences. Uh, and the next day, people decided they wanted to form a volunteer fire department. And here we are 32, 33 years later, uh, and we're fighting this fire as well, although we usually protect our own neighborhood right here. And how instrumental is this location to, this, to the efforts today? Very important because uh, the, uh, the firefighters are holding their briefings and meetings here in our building and uh, our auxiliary is serving food and drink to the firefighters. Mm -hmm. And I saw quite a few guys here last night, uh, basically, you know, howling, sleeping, you know, getting some rest. And how important is rest to a firefighter in a fight, a fight like this? Rest is very important, and it's not surprising that we're going to see people sleeping around here because yesterday's crew was on the fire all day and into the evening. Uh, today, some of those same crews have gone back to work, and some new ones have brought in. And since you're kind of a veteran and seen this before, I mean, is there a little of fear in the neighborhood that you know this could get worse? Or I wouldn't call it fear in the neighborhood. Uh, I'd say that they are concerned. Uh, they're glad that we have a volunteer fire department right here in the neighborhood. Uh, they're also glad that the nearest career station, where there are paid firefighters, regular employees, is about seven miles from here. Oh. Uh, they can get here pretty fast, but uh, we're glad to have vehicles right here that can go out and fight the fire. And a uh, question regarding that: How? I mean, how? How were the funds raised to maintain and keep this place running? Well, we raise a lot of the funds ourselves. We get some support from the county, or I should say, Truckee Meadows Fire Protection District, which is a taxing agency of its own, and it includes all of these out-of-town, rural places north and south of Reno, and uh, we do get some from that, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of work we do for ourselves, on ourselves, in a building like this one. And I'm going to harken back to, I guess, you know, something that's been kind of familiar we've been dealing with on, you know, from the college campus regarding the budget cuts and the like, and uh, budget uh, concerns. Has that affected um, things out here as well? Not us, because our budget was set uh, before. Mm -hmm. The budget was set by the county for Truckee Meadows Fire District mm -hmm. uh, before things got so bad in the economy. And again, we do a lot of our own work and raise some of our own funds. And since you, I mean, since you guys are out, you know, doing your own you know, community fundraising, uh, and the economy has been a little tough on, I mean, on pretty much everybody, has that affected your ability to raise funds to maintain uh, operations like this? No. People in the neighborhood have been very generous because they know what it means to have a fire department right here. Gotcha. And uh, I, again, thank you for putting this whole thing in perspective in terms of. Uh, you know, why, you know, there's so much attention to this fire and why people are out fighting this. And if there are anything else you wanted to say to uh, anyone watching this regarding this, uh, this incident and this, and this uh, location? There are over a dozen volunteer fire departments in the southern end of Washoe County. Uh, they stretch from Cold Springs and Red Rock Valley on the north all the way to Galena and to Pleasant Valley and Washoe Valley on the south. There was a time when there were no fire departments except the volunteers. Wow. And uh, what was that like before that happened? The volunteers responded wherever they could. Uh, and that Division of Forestry and the City of Reno did send crews to help us, but it was a chancy thing at that time. So, I mean, effectively, you know, you guys being out there in the community and trying to, you know, do what you do is 
a vital need to you know make sure that uh, things like this happen they can be stopped quickly and you know, before any life and limb get hurt. That's why we're here serving cold water and food and beverages to all these firefighters that are coming in here and falling on the floor as you saw. Thank you very much, John. Certainly.